Mark Williams. I am in Saigon, Vietnam, and I'm sitting down for a Vietnamese breakfast at a place called Ban Mi Ho Ma. The environment here could not be more spectacular. Uh, the restaurant is located on the main road, but then they set up tables only in the morning in this alley uh, along the well, in the, in the alley along the side of the wall. So I'm sitting on, at one of the tables. The environment is spectacular. It's it's busy, yet at the same time it's calm and peaceful. And this is like a haven of food. Uh, but thank you all for recommending this restaurant to me. I am excited to be here for breakfast. I think they open at about 7 a.m. and they they sell out um, pretty early, so you have to come you have to come for breakfast um, breakfast only here. And it looks like a lot of people are not only oh it's full now. When I came, I guess we, I came right as it opened, so we were the only ones here, but now the tables are full. But it also looks like a lot of people just do takeaway um, and just park their motorbike there just for takeaway. I wish you could smell this. It smells unbelievably good. Um, I ordered the opla, which are eggs, and it's in a little, it's in a little skillet, a flaming hot skillet, and I got two eggs. There are some fried pieces of meat, and then some onions, and then, uh, yeah, topped with some onions. And it looks incredible. This is one of the most beautiful breakfasts I think I've eaten, or I'm about to eat, in a long time. Okay, and it's served with some toasted baguettes, uh, really crusty loaves, and also I got a little uh, extra little bowl of pate and mayonnaise to go with my bread. And then finally, there are some pickled Vietnamese vegetables, as well as uh, tea. Okay, I think I'm first just gonna take some pepper and let me let me pepper it up first. Can never go wrong with pepper and eggs. Oh yes. Okay, that looks good. And maybe I should go in with a. Oh no. Okay, let me just go in for a bite first. It's for steak, a steak bite. Oh, that is amazing. Thank you. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, yes. That egg. That egg is perfect. It is runny on the inside and then crispy on the edges. That meat tasted like spam. So it must be some kind of fried luncheon meat. Um, and then, yeah, that egg is just perfect. The black pepper. Here into this. Oh, it's so, it's so crusty. And let me dip into that. I'm gonna try to. Oh, the baguette. The baguette is so crusty. You can actually like use it to cut your egg. Oh man. Just, that is just a beautiful thing. Oh yeah. That's awesome. Okay, next up, I'm gonna try some of this pate. I'm not a huge mayonnaise fan though, but I tried to take a bit of that pate, put it onto my crusty loaf. Oh yes, and I might add, I might add a piece of egg, a piece of egg to that as well to go the extra mile. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Mm. The pate is so light and like fluffy. The egg again. It's just cooked perfectly. A little bit crispy, but then soft, soft through and through. This is so good. I'm gonna add a bit more pepper. And then maybe some pickled. That 
was an absolutely outstanding breakfast. I did not want that to end. Um, it was so simple, but just so good and hot and fresh. The eggs were cooked perfectly, just kind of, kind of crispy on the edges, but then soft and gooey and and runny on the inside. And then I think what really made it amazing are the caramelized onions. So the caramelized onions just gave it a little like oniony uh, sweet flavor, but just absolutely a beautiful breakfast. I think this is one of the top egg breakfasts I've had in a very, very long time, if ever. Uh, that was delicious. The food is amazing and the atmosphere here is could not be better. Again, huge thank you for recommending this restaurant. I absolutely loved it. A great way to start the morning in Saigon.